Vincenzo Joseph, the second of three Nittany Lions, looking to secure a third national championship. For him, it would be three in a row against Makai Lewis, Tim, who's been a really fun story at these championships. Oh, he's strong, athletic, explosive. He's a gold medalist in the Junior World World Championships. The eight seed doesn't get to the finals very often, Mike, and he has come right through with impressive wins over the number one seed, Alex Marinelli from Iowa, and then Evan Wick, the All-American from Wisconsin. He is fearless, Micaiah Lewis. He needs to be, and he needs to, and he's not scared to wrestle this two-time NCAA champion, Vincenzo Joseph, the only wrestler ever to win titles as a freshman and a sophomore for the Nittany Lions. Let's keep an eye on Lewis throughout the tournament. It seems like where he's most dangerous is with his re-attacks. He'll take advantage of his opponents coming out of position just like that. He'll finish with his takedowns. And for Joseph, needs to be aware of the re-attacks. Why are those difficult to defend? Well, because your opponent is coming back up and trying to get back into their stance and in their position, so it makes them open. So Makai Lewis just does a great job of sensing that. He sees where the opening's at as his opponent's resetting and takes advantage of it. Lewis looking to become Virginia Tech's first national champion. He's their third finalist. Devin Carter back in 2014 and Jared Haught in their wrestling room did it a year ago. We talk about Joseph's inside trips, the different sets, but he also has very underrated blast double that uh, takes down most of his opponents and from everywhere. There's the reshot that you were talking about, Anthony, by Makai Lewis, and Joseph does a nice job of underhooking and bringing up Makai Lewis. Good action here early. Yeah, good defense there by Joseph. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Lewis just senses the right opportunity to get in on that shot off the re-attack. Great amount of awareness there. Joseph for Penn State, the Pittsburgh native in the semis, defeated Josh Shields of Arizona State 3-2, to two, his former club wrestling teammate, to get here to his third straight finals. Makai Lewis already showing he understands that you cannot attack Chenzo straight on. You've got to find the angle and go around him. Tim Joseph is a rarity with what he's done in the Big Ten Championships compared to what he's done at the NCAA Finals. Has never won a Big Ten Championship, <laughs> and yet it, this is the platform that, uh, that, that counts. So losing to Isaiah Martinez a couple of years ago, losing this year to Alex Marinelli. The number one seed who he defeated and then knocked off Evan Wick 5-2 yesterday to get here to the title match. That win against Marinelli, a huge surprise and a blow. To Got the Iowa. cradle locked up. Makai Lewis has the cradle locked up. Got him on his back. Can he finish? He's got the points. A look of despair on the edge of the mat. Joseph rolls out. Oh, neutral. Lewis not done as he takes him to the edge. As the Hokies look for their first national champion, and Lewis in good position. Tremendous dog there by Lewis, just wrestling with confidence, going on the attack on Joseph. This freshman coming in, he's not afraid to go out there and scrap. If there's anybody that can come back with the big moves, it's Chenzo Joseph. It's how he's won his two big NCAA titles. Now it's how he has to win his third. Tries to go low and Lewis sprawls away. One thing this does, this forces Chenzo Joseph to wrestle. And I'll tell you what, anytime Joseph wrestles and opens up, it's a fun thing to watch, but so was Mikhail Lewis 
with that cradle locked up. Six point move. Wow. The ACC champion, a winner of 20 straight. Lewis with his streak of success dating back to November. We're talking about Joseph's inside trips, and that's one of the ways he sets it up. Joseph on the single leg here. He has to finish it clean and, and, and quick. His time is short here in the second. To the edge, Lewis, what agility to stretch out as the period expires. Athleticism. Same thing, gentlemen. Hold, set, on top. One more for Lewis. To finish my thought about that inside trip, that's one of Joseph's setups. He'll do a shot, maybe a half shot, just to get that contact so he can come up into the upper body ties. So right there, he's coming right up into the underhook. Great defense by Lewis. He's so hard to finish on. Center it. State came into this tournament with three wrestlers looking for their third championship. Joseph, one of those, on the ropes, a minute to go. Every time he's charged in, Lewis has had the answer. Like a wall. Joseph uh, on the attack here and um, Lewis could be called for stalling right here. No attack, a single leg. Here's where Lewis was able to stay up and not let Joseph take him down. And wow, with the hips and drive across the takedown to seal the deal. What a performance by the freshman. Parents Keith and Charlotte. Looking at the clock, looking at the mat. Hey, Makai Lewis on top of Joseph brings his reign to an end. Makai Lewis, Virginia Tech's first national champion. the fourth national champion from New Jersey tonight. Makai Lewis running with Quinn. Makai, congratulations. How did, how were you able to lock up that cradle in the second period? Um, I just knew that his head was down. He's like real tight to his knee. I have long arms, so as soon as I saw that, I just went for it and then I ended up got, getting it. You've ignored your seed this weekend. You've ignored the fact that you're a freshman. Where does the confidence come from? This comes from my coaches, family, friends, teammates, just everybody around me telling me that I'm good enough to wrestle in college, that I'm good enough to compete on a Saturday night like this. You took time to, to give a special person a hug on the far side of the mat. What was that? Uh, because Coach Fryer, he's been in my corner ever since I got to Tech. He always told me to be positive. He always tried to keep me focused in the right mindset. And I'm just so grateful for to have him in my life. So 
had to give him a hug. That was something else, Makai. Congratulations. Thank you. Special start to what should be just an electric career. And he's the fourth first-time champion in our first seven weight classes tonight.